Once again, I'm staring into the sun to start my food vlog. This pebble goes over there, you throw it over there, and dig a trench, get it lifted up, and then we're gonna go inside the garage after I get the garage plugged back in, and um, get it all set for to lift tomorrow. I forgot these things, because I'm unprepared. The first part of this is actually gonna be lifting up all of this plastic stuff. It's in the way of digging, and also being able to put new saw down. Let's get started. Oh, and then immediately, I have dust on my feet. Dusty. I wonder why they came sideways. I bet it comes sideways all the way to here and then straight across. But it's odd that they would go sideways. This is just about the longest path possible. Oh, wind blew the dirt back at me. I win. Tree lose. And then I can show you why shielded cable is not permitted underground. So hopefully it'll be focusing in on this now. Okay, this is the Milwaukee 2630-20 skill saw. Sorry, circular saw. This is <clears throat> take two. Unboxing time. This is the Milwaukee 2630-20 circular saw. I got it because they were doing the free battery event at Home Depot. So here's my free battery. Very pleased about a free battery. So you open the box. You got a blade in a bag, a uh, six and a half inch, 24 tooth, and it's got the little plastic protective thing here. You got instructions. You got your tool. So this tool usually comes without the battery because you don't always have to buy an extra battery, but because I got it as part of the battery event, there she goes. It has the little blade lock tool. Come on, battery. Little blade lock tool stuck in the handle here. We've got the, the axle stop there, reverse thread. So one of the things that uh, tool companies do a lot, especially for people who have already got, you know, if you bought a drill driver set, you've already got two batteries. When are you gonna be using your drill and your driver and your saw at the same time? So maybe you wanna save yourself a hundred bucks on the tool when you buy the new tool and you wanna get just the tool. That's what this option is for. And then you don't have to every time be buying also a new battery because then you end up with like, imagine if every tool that I bought from Milwaukee came with a battery. I'd have like five Milwaukee batteries right now and I'm never gonna be using five tools at once. So having the option to get just the tool is pretty good, I think anyway. Stats on this tool, 3,500 RPM, zero to 50 degree tilt, five eighths inch arbor, six and a half inch blade, comes with a 24 tooth carbide tipped blade, aircraft aluminum shoe and weighs eight and a half pounds. Chargers come with the tool when you buy the tool that comes with the battery. So if you buy a drill driver set and it comes with the batteries, it also comes with the charger. Milwaukee has a couple of different chargers that they use for their stuff. The one that came with my drill driver combo is this one here. It'll do the M12s, these little guys here. I use them in my light, but it'll do the M18s as well. 
They have another charger that's bigger that's like the, the super fast high speed charger, but they also have a littler charger that comes with the tool when you buy the tool that comes with the battery. That's the M12 system that only has the M12 charging port instead of the M12 and the M18. So I've got one of each of those. I don't have any of the super fast ones because I just don't. And there, there you go is how you unbox a tool on stream in your garage. Nice and basic, pretty straightforward, it works. I've already tested this guy on some laminated lumber that I picked up out of the bin where I, in the house beside where I was staying last in the basement apartment. Uh, this is, I believe, an inch and a quarter, and the stuff that I bought is an inch and three quarters. So I'll have to be a little bit more careful. I'm getting way more use out of this thing than I had ever expected I would this early. You can see here the uh, the bottom plate is just completely gone. But what I want to do is find where any nails might be and see if we can get all the nails pulled. A little bit spider web like. Okay, that was more than a little bit. I'm gonna go get my hand wasp and we're just gonna buzz the heads of these off. These can't even be into the concrete. That's it. Okay, well that's rounded up enough. Even if it is in concrete, it's not gonna be grabbing on the wood anymore. It still functions for stream but the viewfinder is totally dead. There, that will not tip over now. There, those are much less likely to flip and these basically won't. So we can get back to work. Right, the battery. So this is the brand new battery that comes with basically no charge. I do have other batteries ready to go. I'm just like, what the heck? Brand new tool, brand new battery. Right, brand new battery. So when it comes to a heavy thing, if you have to move it, calculate what the halfway point is, and then you don't have to waste a whole bunch of time finding the halfway point. You can just lift it up and it starts balanced. That's, that's about how high up the garage is going to stand. Oh, dude. I'll feel that later. Ow. Oh, this will be close. No, it won't. Not anywhere even remotely to close. But maybe... Tetris win! There's no way that can drop on my head. No way at all. For some reason, I kind of don't trust it.
Methinks my garage is not straight walled. Like that's almost a full inch. Uh, that's an inch and an eighth. This guy is dead straight. Dramatic entrance. I don't need my sunglasses. I don't actually need any of this stuff. Car keys, don't need car keys. Oh hey, cash. I wanted uh, the most epic music possible and all I could think of was uh, Two Steps From Hell. Need to make sure this is closed. Yeah, there we go. So I got 10 little pumps on that one. Wow. <laughs> it's actually working. Creek, creek, creek. Okay, you gotta see that this is actually working. Lock that in there. You see that moving? I'm struggling with getting actual motion on this side a little bit. Okay, the door sill plate might still be screwed in. I can see light over here now. You see that gap? So I had one nail there that I got out. Kinda scary how well this is working. Okay, that bottom plate finally let go. Looks like we had a couple of other nails over there that I hadn't found that were holding on to it. And then the last thing, still attaching the garage. Oh no, even this snapped up. So officially the garage is fully suspended, no longer attached. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. No longer attached to the floor. I have lifted my garage. You can see this is gonna take a while. Okay, I think that's that one maxed out. I'll just go around and max them all out. And then I know they've all lifted the same amount. I don't want these beams resting directly on these bricks because these bricks are not level. These beams are not level. Nothing is level and I don't want there to be a single point load on the edge damaging my very expensive brand new LVL. So, I thought ahead and planned ahead and bought myself some bags of traction sand. Now, when I lower this back down, I'll lose, now I'll lose a little bit of height there, but I'm protecting the beam and I'm distributing the weight throughout the length of the sandbag instead of just on a single point here. Well, that'll do. Okay, first time letting it down. That let down quite a lot. That let down even more a lot. Wow, that came down so much. Oh, you are right. I did this backwards. You are right. All right, let's get this lifted right back up in a hurry. That was what I was thinking of doing and then I screwed up and forgot. So I'm just gonna go straight up with this one all the way. I knew I had planned better than, than that. Okay, that's that one fully raised. Okay, that's that fully raised. I'm, I'm always grateful for help, especially when it comes to the most dangerous thing I've ever done and hopefully ever will do. All right, we are fully suspended again on the jacks.
Okay, let's try this lowering thing again. Much better. Like, don't get me wrong, that's still a, a lot of movement, but it's so much better. The whole building's going wobble, 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 wobble. I'm kind of curious to see if it will actually do much in the way of damaging. Maybe if I just put like a, a piece of two by six on top on instead, or two by four or something, uh, the sandbags will not be necessary as much. We can get a little bit of, a little bit of uneven, a little bit of crush. I want to use the bags because I'm not level, but we'll see if it actually starts to damage the LVL. If it does damage the LVL, we'll go back to the bags. If it doesn't, then it'll save a lot of time and I'll be pleased. Okay, here we go. First time, no cushion. He's hoping I don't die. That's not bad. We got about 11 inches so far. It's a good start. Well, it was either this or I get the concrete guys to do all the same amount of work. I pay extra for garage demolition and then I pay extra, 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 extra. Is that 15? for um, a new garage. There we go. Beauty. Well, I'm at 20 now. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm so very tired. I have gotten 27 and three quarter inches. Gee whiz, this is dumb. Like, I take my hand away from here because it's under the crust zone. But like, if it falls even this four inches, I got bigger issues to deal with than a hurt finger. This is fine. Ooh. No, I'm gonna fix that. That's a lot better. That's three and an eighth. Keep going. I'm glad it makes sense. I would feel bad if I did all of this and, and someone was like, hey, here's an easier option that you could have done in five minutes and would have solved your problem. I'd feel real bad at this point in the night. If, if you had said that yesterday, 
I'd be like, sweet. Dude, what comes after 36? And we're right at 36 here. So I still have to get it all snug and safe and proper. So I wanna get it up at least enough that I can get this under here. And then I can let this one settle back on. Lock that down. Give it one or two jacks here. Last lifty. Settle. Close valve. Two jack. All right, here we go, moment of truth. 36 and a quarter. And a quarter, laddies. We did it. I just lifted a garage by three feet while inside the garage. So we are at three feet and a half inch. That I've raised this garage on this side. We're just about exactly three feet on that side. I'm so tired. Part of me is surprised that it worked at all. Part of me is nervous that it'll still fall over. I don't think it will. It's got a lot of weight on a really wide base. And in the end, if it falls over, I hope it doesn't fall that way because then I have to replace their garage as well. And my insurance probably wouldn't cover that. This is the most ridiculous thing I'll probably ever do.